welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a first impressions video on KKW Beauty and Mario's collab round two. And I did create this look as well, so that will be coming up in the video. But first I just want to show you guys all the pieces I picked up. I did pick up the whole set just because I was really feeling it apparently. And so this is the eyeshadow palette and the beautiful packaging. Um, the lip gloss, I also have a lip liner which I've never tried from KKW Beauty as well as a blush and a beautiful lipstick which I'm also wearing today. So three steps in a lip routine is a little bit high maintenance for me but I thought you know it would be fun if I try out the product. So this is the gloss. It's very light in proud of you. I am wearing it on my lips today like I said it is pretty creamy it's not sticky and this is the color I feel like it's very much like a flesh tone and when I first put it on I was a little bit terrified because I thought it was very concealer lip looking but it turned out to be okay and then this is the lipstick I don't know if you can see it it definitely looks like a concealer lip called he's a mixer and it's very pale so also terrified of that and then I think the saving grace for a tan girl like me is the lip liner which is a pretty brown nude and it's so creamy. I've never tried KKW Beauty's lip liners and this is in the shade Beauty Icon and it's a beautiful brown and I think it pulled the whole lip look together which is wonderful. And then here is the, <laughs> the blush which you will see me struggling to open in the video and now I'm like already freaking out again because I had to use my tweezer okay here it is because I didn't want to break a nail and it's got one of those like claspy opens but that's the color it's so pretty it's a peachy color and I'm wearing that on my cheeks I feel like this is like a beautiful pigmented blush bronzer kind of shade you can't really see it but that is what it looks like and then I did get another new product to try out in this video and that's the Nabla highlighter in the shade truth this is a really beautiful peachy highlighter and I am wearing that on my cheeks today I've been contemplating putting in a Nabla order because I really want that new face palette that came out with their new palette their eyeshadow palette but I've been holding off like the good girl that I am and so then here is the star of the show the eyeshadow palette and honestly I wasn't planning on buying this and then I watched Mario's speech at the American Influencer Awards and it honestly like really sucked me in. I've been to one of Mario's master classes and I have been following him for quite some time so it was just such a moving story about him and his come up and I just thought it would be fun to support the collab so here are the first Three shades, I have So Many Paparazzi, A Beauty Campaign, The Artist, I Need More Light, and Look Up. And then the last five shades are right here. And um, yeah, it's kind of a crazy story of how he, you know, started working when he was very young. He's always worked. And then how he met KKW and how they've been working together this whole time. So I really admire both of them in, in well, I really admire Mario because of his story and how hard he's worked. So the next five shades are Don't Move, I'm Inspired, Mario's Muse, Glam King, and New York City to LA. Those are the shades. As you can see, it's a very meh palette, to be honest with you guys. I don't regret buying it, but it's definitely not like, what I'm into but it's also one of those palettes where you can just do like one eye like one shade as a whole eye look it's like gonna be one of those palettes so here it is against her so fire palette I mean this is her aesthetic right her stuff will never be like overly colorful it's always gonna be like very neutral palettes this is another one of her eyeshadow palettes I think this is the classic so I do buy her eyeshadow palettes just because every once in a while I have a friend that wants a neutral eyeshadow look so then I go for these. Oh this is the classic blossom. I think the other one's like her neutral. And then last but certainly not least is the first KKW collab with Mario. So there they are next to each other. I think these would work so well together or separate. And the this palette is still available on her website, so if you want to pick up both of them, I'm sure you'll be able to grab them. And 
yeah, I mean, like I said, I just think these are palettes where it's very minimal looking makeup. You know, if you know Mario's makeup style, Kim never looks like she has a ton of makeup on or cake face or very colorful, vibrant eyeshadows. So if that's kind of the look you're going for, I can see this kind of makeup being your type of makeup. Um, so that's kind of why I bought it. It's very different for me. I've really gotten into color in the last couple of years. So most of the time when you're on my channel, you see me wearing like greens and purples and blues and all kinds of vibrant colors. So seeing a more toned down version of me is a little bit disjointing for even me just looking in my viewfinder. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like, you know, and then when I put on the eyelid shade, I was like, oh, me, like, you know, whatever. But this is what most people do for makeup. This is like a glam makeup look for most people, in my opinion. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, if you guys like to do more fun and more sparkle, but I feel like these palettes are definitely made for everyday purposes and then like glam for people that are not into wearing makeup as much. So hopefully that all made sense. I wanna get into this eye look and then I will be back. I'm filming a demo with the Mario X KKW Part 2 collab palette. This is called the Artist and the Muse. Honestly, very toned down palette, but I watched him make a speech at the American Influencer Awards and I drank all the Kool-Aid watching him make his speech. I've admired Mario for a long time. <clears throat> kind of got into him through my two friends in Sri Lanka, two makeup artists that I follow there, um, Nisha and Nethmi. I think they've both, both seen his masterclass live many times. So... Uh, just knowing them, it encouraged me to go to his masterclass in Chicago a few years ago. And my eyes are red, I'm sorry. I also cut my hair. Can you believe it? I have no hair. And it's like longer in the front. I don't know. It'll be nice, so it's definitely going to make it really easy for me to take care of it. So I really want to go into the shade Look Up. It's like a beautiful mustard color. And I just really like... Kim's makeup when Mario does it it's just very you know natural looking and that's kind of how he his style is it's not very crazy and wild I actually wonder if Mario could even do like editorial makeup because his makeup style is very much like you know very classic um elegant makeup and um it was just so interesting watching him work. So this color is basically like a banana brightening up shade. It doesn't look as mustardy on my skin tone as it does in the pan. And I'm just going into the shade I'm Inspired, which is a darker brown. And I'm going to throw that into my crease. This is a very subtle palette. I always wonder like what Kim Kardashian's skin tone is. Like... In real life, if I were to see her in person, I wonder if she's tan or if she's more Caucasian looking. Because, you know, they all look so tan on TV, but it's so hard to say. Um, and even on YouTube, sometimes I'm like, I f sometimes feel like I'm lighter than I actually am. Like, if you see me in person, I think the lighting kind of, you know, on e the internet or on YouTube does change that too sometimes you can just look lighter on camera but I think especially in the summertime if you guys were to meet me I get quite a bit darker than I am now so so nothing over the top fancy but I like how that shade blended out and now I have so many lid options I really want to go in to the shade artist I feel like that's the color that's calling to me um, to put on my lid and I'll show you it right here. It's this like gray blue color. And I'm just gonna try it without wetting my brush first. And I'm gonna sweep that on to my lid. Ooh, it's pretty. It's applying really well 
All my eye looks are these faux <laughs> cut creases. I just love doing them. They're so my style. Um, but you know, I hope to try new things in 2020, but these are the looks that I wear every day type, you know? Wow, I can't believe how good that's doing. I'm so scared to wear smoky colors on my lids. So I feel like it makes it look like I have a black eye sometimes. But that is, wow, it's blending in really nice. And I don't want to say that there isn't fallout, but it feels like there's very little fallout. I don't want to blend too much because I think that's going to cause some fallout. But I really like that lid shade. I'm going to go back into I'm Inspired and just darken up the outer corner some more. And now I'm gonna go back into the flat shader and just blend that matte with that shimmer shade. Wow, I can't believe I didn't even have to wet that. So I know it's kind of a simple look, but sometimes <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm gonna finish up my foundation and stuff. And then I still have his blush to play with and I did get my two Nabla highlighters that I picked up when they restocked on Alta's website and this collection has three lip products so I want to play with them and yeah I'll show you those after I'm back. Okay guys so I did my eyeshadow fully. This is a very sultry look um, and now I want to try the lip products as well as the blush. So there is a lip liner called Beauty Icon and I'm really curious to see what this is like. I haven't looked at it or swatched it or anything yet so here it is. I don't really do lip liner but for the sake of this video and um, of course Kim Kardashian. Okay, I did my best. And then the lipstick. I don't even know if I'm gonna like this color. It's very nude, very concealer lip. I'm like, I'm such a low key like lip person. This is like way too many steps for me. And then the gloss. Oh God. I did try to uh, wear this yesterday <laughs> during Thanksgiving and I was like, whoa, that's very light, but whatever. Am I turning into Miss Kardashian yet? I don't know. I want to try the blush. I mean, I don't hate it, but like I said, it's too much work. Okay, so here is the packaging for the blush. It's very cute. It's that like, I don't know, clear packaging. Ow. Did I just break a nail? Damn it. Oof. Seriously, dude? Okay, I got it with my tweezer. I chipped a nail though, which is annoying. I do like this color. I'm just gonna go in with my regular blush brush. This is like almost like a blush bronzer color. really like how that looks and I do want to try these from Nabla so I'm gonna try the lighter shade I think um, today this is the truth highlighter this is bigger than I thought it was pretty packaging did I need to make my nose pink probably wasn't the best idea oh that's fun okay just one more thing I'm just gonna add like a golden highlight on my nose because I just highlighted it pink. This is the old MAC Holiday Compact in um, Whisper of Guilt. This is from quite a few years ago. And yeah, I just want to set my face and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the eye look. It was very, very simple and very, very easy to do. So hopefully 
you guys enjoyed that because sometimes it's nice to just be able to see like a quick wearable look. I think this would be perfect for a holiday party or holiday events with your family, friends, church, that kind of stuff. I think it's very glam. Of course, I had to wear like a black velvet shirt and these are like my spectacular holiday earrings that you guys have been loving. These are from Target, by the way. Super inexpensive. I'll try and remember to link them down below. Um, but yeah, most of my earrings are from Target. I have an earring collection video coming up, so if you guys are interested in that, definitely subscribe. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I um, low-key regret buying this because it's not really like my everyday makeup but I feel like I can pull this off. It's not like something I would never ever reach for, but as far as like the cost versus how many wears I'm gonna get out of this stuff, not quite sure that it was the best like makeup investment for me, but I can see a lot, a lot, a lot of people really enjoying this look and the vibe of this collection. Other than that, I don't really have anything to say. I like everything, I don't love it. Hopefully that makes sense. But no tea, no shade to makeup by Mario and Kim Kardashian. I think it's a beautiful collection, very everyday. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.